Hi there, I'm Claudine Helmuth, and I'm going to be showing you today how to mix colors using my new paint line, Claudine Helmuth Studio with Ranger Industries. And I'm really super excited about this paint line. It's very high quality. I'm going to talk a little bit about all the different properties of the paint. But what I want to show you first is that I've got this color mixing chart on my website at collageartist.com slash color mix. And in it, it shows you how to take the 15 original colors and make 51 colors out of them. So you can get a lot of mileage out of your 15 colors of Claudine Helma Studio paint. So in here, inside the PDF, when you download it, you'll see there are recipes for making a new third color by mixing two jar colors together. And I've come up with some of my favorite color combinations. There are even more than 51 different color combinations, but these are some of my favorite and some of the ones that I think will be the most useful. I've got blues and greens, purples and neutrals, reds, pinks, and oranges. So why don't we get started and I will show you how it is so easy to mix these colors using these paints. On my chart here, I've got a whole list of purples actually, but uh, this is the one we're going to be doing quickly here, which is Purple Palette and Painterly Pink, which you can see here. I've already put out the semi-equal blobs of paint there, and now I'm just going to mix them together to create the new purple. And this creates a really nice muted purple. And when you are mixing, you with a brush instead of a palette knife, you do want to go back and forth like I'm doing here to make sure you get thorough mixing of color. So you could see now here I've got my new third color that was created from this color and this color. Couldn't be any easier. Create, I'm going to create this color here, which is a combination of classic teal and sky blue. But the principle remains the same no matter which color you're mixing on any of these charts here. The same color mixing principles apply. These are the colors of paint. This is classic teal and sky blue. What I'm going to want to do is put about equal amounts out on my color on my paint palette. I just like to use a popsicle stick. You'll notice that the paint is really creamy consistency. You can also water it down because it's so highly pigmented you can add a lot of water to the paint and still retain that pigment. So you will get a lot of mileage out of this little jar of paint. And when you are color mixing, you do want to work on a white surface so that way you can see the new third color that you're getting. This is just a wax paper palette. You could work on a white paper plate. You could work on a wax paper on top of a piece of white sheet of paper. That would also work well too. What I'm going to mix with is my uh, half inch brush here. I just like to mix using my brush and I'm just going to take here and mix these two piles together and now you'll see I've got a brand new third color a really beautiful teal I took a little bit of this color and a little bit of this color and now we've new third color here that was so easy they are transparent paints for optimized color mixing. Because they are transparent, you will get a true third color. Working with the opaque paint with a lot of uh, fillers in the pigment, a lot of times your paint can get chalky or muddy when you're mixing the colors. So you don't really get as much mileage out of that palette because you can't get beautiful new third colors, whereas you can with these paints. If you're looking for a really nice lime green color, I've got a whole list of a whole variety of greens here. And the one that we're going to make right now is using sky blue and dab of yellow. I've already got them out here in their equal amounts. And again, I'm just going to mix these together.
like that. So I'll just put that color here next to the original colors. And if I decided that maybe this was a little bit too uh, limey green, maybe I wanted a little bit more blue to it, I can just add a little bit more blue and just blend that in. And now I've got a whole nother kind of green. So you can see how easy it is to come up with not only a third color, but then a fourth color just by changing the ratio of the paints. So I hope that you enjoyed color mixing with me today and seeing just how easy it is to expand the Claudine Helma Studio color palette from 15 colors to 51 colors. I hope that you'll download the chart from my website and experiment with coming up with your own colors. If you come up with a whole new color combination, send me an email and I'll add it to the chart.